be testing the Phoenix AR500 armored backpack today. I believe it's level 3A, so it's rated up to a 44 Magnum and 357 Sig. So it's a pretty, pretty good stop, a pretty decent threat, I think so. Also, sweet range bag. You know, you're probably like, what's in the bag, man? What you got in there? What I got in there? Y'all want to know what I got in the bag? Let's see what we got in the bag. Oh. A Z pap. Pull the Z pap out the bag. What else we got in there? Oh, oh. Y'all didn't see that, did you? <laughs> FNX 45 pulling out the bag, z -Pap. So it's a good range bag also. So we're going to be definitely putting it through its paces today. I got a couple different guns that I'm going to test it out with, see how many uh, threats it can stop. And I definitely got something that I know for sure it can't stop. So y'all, please like, subscribe to these videos, drop comments, turn on post notifications so you know when new videos are dropping. And other than that, man, let's go ahead and get started. All right, body armor is set up. We're going to start off with a 22. Out of this Chris Vector. I hit it a couple times. All right, so we got a hit here and a hit here. So I was shooting kind of low. Pass through there, went straight through there. Figured out anyways, the armor is in the back. All right, so we, oh, we actually got three hits. We got one here, one here, and one here. So, let's take it off, see what we got. Nothing. Nothing at all. All right, so we're gonna step it up to a real caliber. This is eh, nine millimeter. This is some uh, 147 grain, I believe. It's a pretty heavy bullet. It's going a little slower. So let's see. I don't shoot this gun that often. This is an MP40. It's more like a wall hanger type gun. So I got four loaded up. I'm gonna put three on the target and one in the backpack. I didn't hear a ding. All right, so that is a 22, 22, and a 22. That one actually went through the top. It didn't hit the uh, armor, so it went through the back. Um, and that right there, right under the zipper, is your 9 mil hit. So let's see. Obviously, it went through the front, right through the zipper, right through there. And I can feel the bullet right there. nothing out of back hmm. let's keep going all right so nine mil did nothing i didn't expect it to we got uh 357 loaded up let's see if this does any better it is rated to stop 44 mag so i don't think it's gonna do nothing either so let's see That smoked it there though. All right, let's see what we got. All right, it took me a minute to find it. That is the nine mil, that is 22, and that right there is the 357. So, I don't think it did anything. It went through right down there, and right there, and I can feel the bullet. So, once again, Nothing on the back. Let's step it up. 45 ACP, baby, the Lord's caliber. Let's see if it'll stop this. This is a heavy, slow moving round, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna run it in double action. This sight might not be sighted in also. Go ahead and get my excuses out the way early. <laughs> 45 don't play, baby. All right, let's see if y'all can tell what a 45 went through. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. Woo! Straight through. 
and I can also feel the bullet again. Oh, but it smacked it hard right here on the back. It actually tore the fabric. Let me take that off so y'all can see that. That's the back of it right there. It smacked it pretty hard. It just tore the fabric on the back. There's actually no hole. You can see the little hole down there at the bottom, but it's actually not going through it. Caught it in that Kevlar in the back. You see it all scrunched up right there. So it was able to catch it. That's a 45 ACP, 230 grain ball ammo. Let's step it up some more. So I went on and stepped it up to a 12 gauge. I still don't think it's a lot of power being put down, but I don't think it's going to actually penetrate. I got bird shot, bucks, a three inch uh, 15 pellet buckshot load in there. And I got a 32 hexalit slug in there from Duplo. So I'm going to just hit them with all three and then we'll go down there and check it out. I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I seriously don't know. Okay, so you probably can tell that that messed it up a lot. I don't know if you can hear that. You can hear the BBs rolling around in the bottom of the bag. That's from that bird shot. You can see them down there in the bottom. Ooh, that slug hit nasty. But it caught it. I'll be damned. Yeah. It hurt it, but let me check it. I can actually feel the wad inside. Oh, that's hot. So, okay, the slug is definitely in there. It's still in there. It didn't come out. It smacked it really hard and actually put the fabric onto the steel, but it didn't come out. AR-500 armor backpack, level 3A. She taking a lot of hits. Let's step it up to something that she ain't rated for. <laughs> 308, baby. Got one ball of some, uh, I got some one round of some ball uh, ammo loaded up, some Venezuelan. <sighs> Let's go. smoked it all right so it went in hit right there went through hit right there Ooh, key hold to the side ah uh, yeah don't think you're gonna stop a 308 especially not with level 3a but she put up a good fight Please like and subscribe to these videos, man. There's plenty more armor testing, plenty more gun reviews, plenty more gear reviews coming out. Stay tuned to the channel, man. We'll definitely be back with more this week, next week. Like, subscribe, comment, turn on post notifications. Appreciate y'all.